This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. What is going on everybody? Jay Shy here with another video and I know it's been three months since my last video and um, I, I wasn't really gonna do this but I figured you know why not what's 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 the worst thing that can happen you know whatever um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm here I'm healthy I'm good um, but I figure I make a video about um, the new manga I got my new curated collection because um, it's been a while since I did a collection update since I've actually gotten into manga um, I'm actually reading more now than I was back then. Um, as some of you know, I never used to do a lot of reading. Like, that wasn't really my thing. My thing was video games and and television. And now that I'm older, um, like, I've kind of fallen out of video games because a lot of the new games that are coming out don't really uh, grab my attention. Um, they don't really excite me that much anymore. So I've tried to go into an avenue that I know nothing about, which is like reading books. So, um, sure, I, I used to read comic books here and there, but like not religiously. Um, but nowadays I'm reading a lot more. Um, I finished my first novel the other day, which was weird, because I don't really like novels. Something has to have pictures, but I decided, you know, why not? I've never read one. So I did that. And uh, I, I, I just ordered a bunch of new manga and I'm getting through that so I figure I show you guys some of the new manga that I have on my shelf behind me so let's get to that starting with the first series that I have it's um, Pluto which is um, the first series that I ever uh, finished this is volumes 1 through 8 this is uh, this is com complete um, Pluto is kind of hard to find nowadays um but I, I i think with a lot of research you might be able to find it i don't know if it's pricey or not but pluto is in my opinion is a masterpiece i think it's brilliant uh next we have one of my favorite seinen's right now that's ongoing right now this is uh golden kamui this is volumes 1 through 19. um this is not up to date now that i think about it because volume 20 is actually right around the corner I don't have volume 20 yet um, because it just came out and I'm trying to catch up because right now I just finished 14. Um, but Golden Kamui has some good covers, man. I, I, I think I, I love this series um, for its artwork. Artwork is just top notch. Uh, next, we have uh, Pleasure and Corruption. This is uh, up to date. This is volumes 1 through 3. Uh, Pleasure and Corruption is a pretty good. Uh, I would say drama with a, a with a thriller feel to it, um, but I think it's brilliant. Um, it, right now, um, I haven't finished three. I'm all, I just finished two, and four is about to launch. So uh, keep your eyes out for Pleasure and Corruption for mature audiences only. I would say, <laughs> but it's really good. Uh, next is Dead Dead Demons DDD Destruction. This is what I just call 5D. This is uh, volumes uh, 1 through 8. This is uh, not up to date because volume 9 is out. Uh, but a very good boy meets world with space aliens, like I always say. Um, but uh, this volume right here is, is, is a heartbreaker. So keep your eyes out for volume 3. That one's good. Next is a brand new series that I just got um, that I'm into. This is Yoshi no Zukara. Uh, Yoshi no Zukara is, is a, a, a really good manga. I think this is actually done by the guy who did Barakemon. I think. I don't know. Um, but uh, it's a manga about a struggling manga artist who's trying to, you know, succeed in uh, <laughs> being a successful manga creator or mangaka. But uh, right now it's a really good slice of life. So I just bought uh, Volume 2 yesterday and I haven't read... Uh, this yet. Next, we have Moteki. This is volumes, uh, or I don't even know if this is an omnibus, but this is complete. This is uh, omnibus one and two. This is a good romance drama. Uh, one of my favorites right now. I think it's good. Okay, now we can bring the light down. <laughs> Next, we have Oharu Cross Machine Gun. 
This is up to date. This is volumes 1 through 18. Right now, I am on volume 8. Um, I think Oh Hard Cross Machine Gun is a really good sports manga. Uh, it's a sports manga uh, about airsofting. If you don't know what airsofting is, it's kind of like paintballing but with BB guns. Um, so it's it's a it's a it's a it's a unique sports manga because um, I, I like the fact that it, it dives into this whole thing where everybody's part of a team and all, all the teams have their unique skill sets. It's it's a really neat uh, manga. Um, I, I I also noticed that I'm really into like yen press books for some reason. You're gonna see a lot of yen press. I don't I I think I'm a yen press fanboy at this point because um, I'm always buying their stuff. Uh, we have one of my favorite uh, comedies of all time for me. Uh, this is uh, Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. This is up to date. This is volumes 1 through 11. Volume 12 just got announced, which is freaking great. Uh, the only thing that sucks about Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun is that it comes out yearly. It's the only thing that sucks. Uh, this is the Japanese copy because this is the only way I was able to get this figurine of Mikorin. Uh, Mikoshiba. Uh, but, uh, the only way you can get this is if you ordered, uh, the limited edition cover of Volume 6, so, that's what this is. Uh, I really like Monthly Girls and Zaki Kun. Um, uh, next we have My Youth Romantic Comedy is not as wrong as I expected, or is as wrong as I expected. Uh, this is a really good, uh, rom-com. I, I really like this because it's not a rom-com, which is hilarious, but that's the only way I can label it this is up to date this is volumes 14 um i've finished up to 12 right now but this is really good uh i i'm i'm really really enjoying uh uh my youth this is phenomenal next is a new series that i picked up this is mint chocolate um i'm not really into the female romance but for some reason this uh, plot caught my attention and it's about these two individuals who really really like each other and out of the blue their both of their parents get married so now they're step siblings and they kind of have to keep their relationship under wraps and it's 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 good so far I'm liking it it's the first one of its kind that I've read so I'm getting into that next we have happy sugar life this is volumes one through seven this is up to date this is uh, <laughs> This is this is quite the series. This is a suspense horror thriller. Um, it's it's really good, really really good. Uh, and this is the Japanese one because I couldn't wait for the first volume to come out, so I just got it in Japanese um, because I'm impatient sometimes. But um, it's 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 up there, man. It's it it breaks your heart sometimes. <laughs> Uh, next, we have the manga that got me into manga. This is I Am A Hero. This is complete. This is volumes 1 through 11. Um, I will tell you guys this. Now, this, this series is fantastic. Um, it kept me reading all the way to the end. Um, I will say this, though. If you're trying to get I Am A Hero now, uh, it's, it's going to be hard because it's out of print. It's hard to find. And I think from Omnibus 5 going up, the books are overpriced. I, I've seen some go up to about $80. Um, Vimes 1 through 3 are fairly cheap on Amazon, I've, I found. But I think after that, they get pretty high. So if you can find these, just grab them because they're, they're, you're never going to be able to find these again. Next is Haven't You Heard I'm Sakamoto. Uh, one of the funniest comedies I've ever read. Sorry if I got the shaky cam going. Um, this is only four volumes long, but it's, it's, it's so good. So freaking good. It's about the perfect student. It's, it's really good. If you haven't read this, just, just watch the anime. It's, it's pretty funny. Next is A God's Lie or The God's Lie. Um, I think this book is amazing. I've read this book like five times already. I, I think it's great. Um, I don't want to reveal too much because then I might get into some spoiler territory, but if you haven't read it, just read it. It's a one shot, so it's really good. Next is one of my favorite series that's ongoing right now. This is Go With The Clouds, North by Northwest. This is a mystery drama. Um, it's really, really good. It's about a, a kid who lives in Iceland and he's from Japan, but he lives in Iceland with his grandfather and becomes a private investigator. And it's a really good murder mystery right now. And it has like these beautiful covers, man. Go with the clouds north by northwest. I recommend. I think it's a good read. 
if you're into that, you know, sci-fi kind of, not sci-fi, but murder mysteries. We're getting into some dark territory because uh, my <laughs> my manga uh, shelf is like in the corner. Next, we have Black Torch. Uh, Black Torch is a really good shonen. I think it was entertaining for what it is. Um, I have, uh, it's getting kind of dark, yeah. I have uh, it complete, volumes one through five. It only has five volume, volumes, but it's really, really entertaining. A lot of people said it was like Bleach. I've never read Bleach, but I've watched a couple of episodes. But I guess, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the artist definitely pulls his inspiration from Bleach. Next is one of the best series that I'm reading right now, and it's only on volume one. This is Miruku-chan. Uh, this is a, a fantastic manga by Yen Press. Um, again, Yen Press. <laughs> um, but it's about a girl who's suddenly able to see dead evil spirits walking the streets and she's pretending that she can't see them so they they don't notice that she can see them it's really good it's a really good suspense horror because you're like oh my god it puts her in like these weird situations where it's like oh my god please don't get caught please don't get caught and it's really good uh volume two is about to come out in a week so i can't wait for that i already pre-ordered it uh but miruko chan is is really good Next, we have Platinum N, Volumes 1 through 11. Um, I mean, it's by the guys who did um, Death Note. Uh, so far, it's a, it's a really good suspense thriller, dark fantasy. Um, I, I It's it's fine. It's, it's a shonen. <laughs> you, you guys know me. I'm not really into shonens. Um, but it's it's good for what it is. It, it kept me reading. Like, I was really worried about, about it when I got up to, like, Volume 3. I was going to drop it. But then I was, like, I mean, look at me now. I'm almost to the end. Volume 12 is out. This is also incomplete, but still good. Next, we have Kagero Days or Kagero Daze. This is Volumes 1 through 11 incomplete because there's three more volumes that I need to get. But the this, this story is, like... Uh, it's not bad, but I understand what it's going for. It's trying to do the whole... Um, uh, that that pulp fiction style of storytelling where you have like a bunch of different characters and they all and then the story kind of like jumps around a lot um so it, it's it's from all these different perspectives it, it's really hard to follow because you're reading it and then you have to wait in between for the books to come out so i'm just kind of waiting until i get them all so i can just read them in one shot so i'm not confused um because that's one of the things the problems that i have with this book is that um the story kind of jumps around from character to character so you get you get lost but other than that uh so far it's good um i i, I left off on a huge cliffhanger and i was like you know what let me pause before <laughs> before i get lost uh next we have dorara uh this is the first shot of dorara this is volumes one through four of the part one uh i don't think i'm gonna read the rest uh because i i, I really liked the way this ended off but i know there's more there's like four what three other versions that i'm supposed to read to catch up I don't, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Next, we have After Hours, uh, volumes one through three. This is the first Yuri that I ever read. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is this is good up until I got to like the beginning half of this, and then it picked up at the end, and I was kind of like satisfied, and I was like, oh okay, that's fine. But it, um, After Hours is okay. It's 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 pretty okay. It's not great. Next, we have Opossums, uh, volumes up, this is up to date, this is volumes 1 through uh, 6. This is a, 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 um, a manga I thought I was gonna stop, because um, I just, uh, it, it doesn't really pick up until the third volume, like, in my opinion. And now it's good, but like, these first two volumes, it's like, kind of like, there's action in it, but you're kind of like, I don't understand what the hell's going on. And then, you know, you get, as, as you stay with the story, you, you kind of understand once you get here. But it's not bad. Next is a, uh, <laughs> this is a, um, what do you call it? A light novel? I'm, I'm, I'm trying, okay? Like, light novels are basically anime, but in, in book form, I, I'm, I'm trying. Because, like... So far, I like Classroom of the Elite. I've only read, like, the first two chapters. And so far, it's good. It's intriguing. So I'm probably going to continue with that. Um, I know there's, like, eight books, but we'll, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> uh, this is the last of the last. Next, we have Nyankees. It's, it's hard to get in here. Nyankees is the cat book. Um, like, 
the gang members, <laughs> but they're they're cats. So it's like all these street alley cats uh, story. Um, I didn't keep up with that because I was interested in other books, but I do plan on getting the rest. Next is The Caterpillar Girl and The Bad Texter Boy. This is a one shot, um, a very depressing manga, I might add. <laughs> Next is Dead Mount Death Play. Uh, this is incomplete because I didn't get the other two volumes, but uh, this is this is written by the guy who did the rah rah um, So far, it's okay, but it doesn't hold me. Uh, next, we have Ibutsu. Uh, Ibutsu is good. Um, I really enjoyed this. I love the ending. Um, I think Ibutsu is a pretty good book. I, I kept seeing it pop up on my Amazon like feed all the time, and I was just like, all right, fine, I'll I'll just buy it. I'll just buy it because it kept popping up and I was, whatever. But it's it's really good. I enjoyed it. I read this twice, but it's really good. Next, we have the complete box set of A Silent Voice. This is the box. Uh, this needs no introduction. I'm not even gonna say anything about Silent Voice because we already know. Next, we have Shin Megami Tensei uh, Khan, the series that kind of just fell off because um, uh, so Shin Megami Tensei Khan only has two, no, three volumes in the United States, but there's like 14 books in like France. You can read it, but you have to know French. But I have the first, we only got the first three. I think I only have two of them, but it's, it's fine so far but it it, it 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 rushes to get to the good stuff that was my big problem with this manga next we bought i got well we bought i got the first volume of devil survivor uh just because i was curious about what it looked like um it's devil survivor if you played a shin Megami tensei game which is devil survivor on the, on the ds it, it's basically that Next, we have the first volume of MPD Psycho. Uh, this was recommended to me by a friend, and I had to pay quite a bit of money because this this series is out of print, uh, and it's and it got banned uh, in a couple of countries. Um, but I found it for uh, I, I had to overpay for it. I don't want to say, but <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's I, I see why it got banned, but it's 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 fine. <laughs> Next, we have H.P. Lovecraft's The Hound. This is a manga also. Um, this is pretty good. It has three stories in one. It's not great, but, you know, it is what it is. Next is the first two volumes of City. Uh, I think the first two volumes was enough for me. Um, it wasn't great, uh, but I, I know that this artist's first work was pretty good, and I forgot what it's called. Nichi Choji, I think that's how you pronounce it. But I don't remember Next, we have the first two volumes of Wotokoi. I just really, I just noticed yesterday when I went to the bookstore that Wotokoi actually has four volumes now. Uh, so this is still going, and it has an anime adaptation. Ad adaptation. But uh, I didn't really like this. Uh, I thought it was kind of annoying and cheesy to read, but I don't, I don't know. If that's just me. But it has its cute moments, and I, I don't know. For me, it was just fine, I guess. But it wasn't great enough to keep reading. Next, we have The Wandering Islands, Volume 1 through 2. Uh, volume 1 was great, and then this happened, and this was horrible. Volume 2 was not good at all. Next, we have Aho Girl, Volumes 1 through 4. This is going on to like 10 volumes now. Uh, I stopped reading this because it kind of gets annoying after a while. Uh, next we have Furikuri. Oh, sorry. We have Furikuri. It's it's hard for me to like stretch my arm back here to like grab all these books, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, Furikuri Omnibus. Um, this isn't great either. Uh, I love Furikuri, but I recommend the anime more than the actual manga. Next we have the first volume of King of Fighters, a uh, new beginning. A new beginning. I only bought this because I was interested in what it looked like. Uh, well, no, a friend got it for me actually. Uh, because we're both fans of King of Fighters, and I wanted to see what this book had to offer, and it's just, I don't know, if you're a fan of King of Fighters, it's just, it's just a lot of fan service, like, I want to say fan service, like, there's a lot of eye candy for, you know, people who are into, um, King of Fighters, the problem with me is that I'm, I was more into what the story had to tell me, and there's like, I don't know, the story wasn't interesting enough for me. Uh, next, we have High Rise Invasion. This is Omnibus 1 through 8. Uh, I know that there's four more I gotta get my hands on. Uh, 
but uh, so far this is a it, it's <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's it's not great, but anyway, this is my curated uh, manga collection uh, with, without this light in the way. Yeah, so this is my curated manga collection. Um, and I've only been reading manga for about, what, two years, I would say. And um, so far, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it's been it's been not not terrible. So yeah guys, that was my curated manga collection. Um, so with that being said, all of that I'm probably going to get through in about a year. Um, oh, probably less than that because I, well, no, I'm probably going to get through it in about a year. Because I notice every time I read something, I go about, I go out and I go buy more, more, or more. But yes, I'm still reading manga. I'm still playing video games here and there, but not as much. But I just wanted to make a video because it's been a while since I actually made one. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys.